everybody. I'm finally back to do a uh, Doc Boggs instructional video. Um, so today I'm going to do Danville Girl because Danville Girl uses um, a tuning that Doc Boggs uses for a bunch of his songs, including um, Pretty Polly. So first we're going to do Danville Girl because it's simpler, and then we'll do Pretty Polly for the next video. Um, the tuning is pretty weird. It's um, F sharp, for the or no, no, start with the first string. First string is a D. Second string is an A. Third string is a G. Fourth string is a D. And the fifth string is an F sharp. So. tuning. It's a variation of the um, of the open D tuning. I'll talk about that later. Okay, so I'll go through the song and um, and after that I'll give you some instructional tips. Here we go, Danville Girl. simple thing once you get to know the melody in a banjo because he repeats he repeats it pretty much so um, but one confusing thing about it is that 
Um, during the, the, the choruses, he plays one melody pattern, and then during the breaks in between the verses, he plays it a little bit different each time. So I'll show you those. So it, it starts out, um, actually first I'll, um, I'll teach you how to double the melody. So it's, it, it's when you sing and play the melody at the same time. And that's, that's pretty much what Don Pogs always does when he sings. He's doubling the melody on his banjo. Kind of makes it simple. So, uh, uh, oh, 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 well, it's going to be like, Oh, I went down to the Danville Girls. I stuck on the Danville Girl. You hear him just going, na, 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 na. But then there's all that other stuff in between that makes it a little bit more interesting. Um, all right, so um, we've got that Doc Boggs vamp, which I showed you in earlier videos, where it's a three finger style on, in the right hand, and you play the 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 bass note or the the first note is with the thumb, and then you vamp it with the index finger and middle finger on the second and first strings. That's kind of what we play in between the notes. Boom, chick, boom, chick, boom, chick, boom, chick. And then you can vary that by, by doing a little roll. That's from, um, I think I did that in a previous video. See it. All right. So it starts out. You do the melody. So I'll show you a little bit closer. string thumb open and then second or and then third fret and then you do a hammer on na, na, na. and when you do that the hammer on with, with the um, thumb on the third string second fret then you move your thumb over to the fifth string you always you always do the thumb. You always do the thumb on the fifth string after a hammer on. He always does that. It seems almost, almost completely reliable. So it's like that, and then he does a thumb or a, a finger, a index finger on the second string, and then. That's a nice little lick there, that sort of, that's second, uh, third string, you can see in the third string, second fret, and a pull off. And then third, third fret, fourth string, thumb, then open. So. string with the with your thumb then open then back third fret and then a hammer on always with that fifth string so that's that's the first part of the melody and then he goes and then this gets this gets really tricky here it goes like this So 
up goes, pockets look on the damn bill, girl. So, thumb on the third string, open, and then fret it on the um, second fret. And then there's a hammer on on the second string up to the third fret, um, plucking with your first finger. Since there's a hammer on, you do a thumb string. So, but here instead of going, instead of doing that, you do you you pause a little bit, and then right after you you hit the thumb string, you hit the open first string with your middle finger, and then index finger on the second string third fret. Thumb on the third string, second fret, and a, um, a pull off, and then kind of a vamp, and then fourth string, third fret, thumb, vamp, open. Okay, I'm gonna play it really slow. Oops, I did a thumb string there, didn't I? I guess you can do that too. better actually with, with the thumb string now I think about it. up here so you can see this. There we go. So, right hand. you play it when you're singing it but in between those he does it a tiny bit different instead of going um, na, 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 he plays a little bit different
different rhythm. He goes. I don't know if you can tell the difference there, but instead of. He goes. And then instead of it, 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 he, uh, he just goes Now that's the way he does it on his uh, 1928, 27 recording On his um, 1964 recording He does it, he plays the same thing in between He um, he doesn't change um, change that um, that rhythm during the banjo breaks. So you could do it either way. You could still go, you know, you could still do in between the verses. So so you could go, you know, oh you bet your life she's out of sight. She wears those bamboo curls. It's kind of fun to do that sort of different, a different way. So the. Uh... All right, I believe that is it. It's just the same kind of melody repeated with that one difference in um, in the banjo break. So I hope. Well, if you have any questions, um, put them down in the in the comments below. I'll try to get to them if I can. Uh, if I have an answer. And um, good. I hope you enjoy the video and learn something from it. Next will be Pretty Polly because that has the same tuning as this, um, but just a bit more, but just, but just a different melody. All right, cool. Thank you, and sorry how long about how long it took me to make this video. The next one will be coming soon. Bye. One note I forgot to make about the tuning. I said at the beginning of the video that the... Um, the, the tuning that Doc Boggs uses is a variant of the standard open D tuning. And this is the open D tuning. If um, it's, it's a pretty common tuning. Not as common as G, but... It's a D, A, um, F sharp, D, F sharp. So the... what people use for like uh, John Corey or um, what is it um, oh gosh what's it called oh yeah Ruben you know the song um, it's the same thing except the third string is tuned up to a G so it's kind of a modal tuning. It, it, uh, it allows you to do more melody notes. To do that, we'll hammer on that. Like that. And if you're going, going to it from a G tuning, so I'll, I'll go down... G tuning, standard G, like that, the way you get to it is you lower the second string down to an A, then lower the fifth string a half step. 